The last couple of versions of Crystal Reports, 2016 and 2020, have seen a significant change in how we connect with data sources, specifically the ability to connect to Microsoft Access databases and Excel workbooks has been altered. For Crystal Reports 2016 and earlier, the connection called Access Excel DAO should still be available, as these are still had to be had as 32-bit applications and can use the Microsoft Data Access Objects connector. When going into the database expert, this item should be seen on the left side of the dialog box under Available Data Sources. However, Crystal Reports 2020 is a 64-bit application. This means it's intended specifically to work in a hardware environment which can process 64 bits, the ones and zeros, per tick of the processor's clock. And the Microsoft DAO software does not exist in 64-bit form. It can't talk to a 64-bit application. Also, it has been deprecated by Microsoft, and Crystal may not be able to use the older .mdb access format in future without help. The critical item which will now allow a Crystal Reports connection to the Access and Excel data sources we sometimes still need to use is the Microsoft Access Database Engine 2016 Redistributable. The 2010 version is no longer available for Microsoft, but there are 32 and 64-bit versions of the 2016 engine available at the Microsoft website. Once properly installed, a Crystal user can connect to Access and Excel files with only a couple of additional steps through an ODBC, or Open Database Connectivity, hookup. It's a good idea to check with the IT department on which one to download and to find out if they'll have to do the installation or if the user can run it. In a business situation, it's highly advisable for the technicians to handle this just in case. There are also two PDF documents available from SAP, the company which produces Crystal Reports, containing clear directions on how to download, install, and make use of the engine. The information was written when the engine was available in the 2010 version and is referred to by that year, but the 2016 installation is essentially the same. Since this question has come up on a number of occasions, it seemed logical to talk about the problem and a workable solution. On our website, skillforge.com, in the blog post referring to this subject, you will find links to the relevant page at microsoft.com and to PDF documents relating to this situation available for download. By all means, please take advantage of them.